welcome to Transcending Crochet. Today I'm going to teach you how to make yoga socks. What makes yoga socks yoga socks is they got an area to leave the toes and heel available for extra grip. These are super comfortable and they have an awesome moss stitch to them which adds a lot of texture. So what you're going to need today to make these is you're going to need some weight for yarn and a five millimeter hook. So to start, you are going to make a slip knot and if you don't know how to make a slip knot or chain, it's in my playlist, The Basics of Crochet. And you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and I think that's four. One, two, three, four, yep. So you're going to, so for the next row, you are going to slip stitch and stitch. So you're going to skip this fourth chain, as it's our edge chain. And you're going to slip stitch, keeping them nice and loose in every single stitch. And these rows will go by super fast. And if you don't have a stitch counter, you can always use a pen and a piece of paper to keep track of your rows. And if you want an electronic stitch counter, there's lots of wonderful apps out there available that are also stitch counter apps. So to get started on row two, we're going to chain one. And as you see, it's sort of like an L. We're going to turn the L to the left because L equals left. And as you see, you got one, two, and three stitches there. So going into the first stitch right here, sometimes you have to use this part of your hook here to grab your stitch from behind to create some space for your hook to fit into the stitch like that. And then we're going to do a slip stitch pulling through both like that. And two, sorry about this. <laughs> it's a little hard to see through my phone. Two. And then the last one is right here. This will get easier once we have some more fabric to work with. Three. So there is row two, super easy. I'm just gonna mark it down on my piece of paper there. And as you see, we are creating this bottom band here. So what I found, I'm roughly a size eight, eight and a half to nine, depending on which shoes I'm wearing. I found that 40 stitches equals a nice snug band around my foot. And these stretch a lot. So if you're worried that it doesn't fit, you can see it's got a lot of stretch to it. So we're going, I'm going to walk you through one more row and then I will meet you at the end of row 40. So this is row three. So one slip stitch in the back loop, two slip stitches in the back loop, and three stitches in the back loop. And you're just going to repeat this back loop slip stitch for 40 rows total. Now we'll meet you at the end of the 40 rows. I am on my last row. So this is row 40 for me. And I'm just going to finish up my slip stitches with you, my back loop slip stitches. And um, I hope these weren't too frustrating for you. I know it can be pretty tricky to try these slip stitches out for the first time. The trick is just keeping it nice and loose. Okay, sorry, a little hard to work through my camera here. Okay, there's my last stitch. This yarn is being frustrating today. <laughs> okay, if you want to count these, you got one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 27, 20, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40. There's 40 rows. This is what it looks like. And then what we are going to do is we're going to chain one and then making sure this isn't twisted or anything. We're going to keep it nice and straight. We're going to bring it together here like this. I'm going to put our hook through the back loop of this one and then the first loop on this one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch these two together like so. We're going to go into the next one, back loop, and then into the middle loop here. There's two, and then last one, 
back loop in our last stitch here and last loop there we're gonna pull through both and then slip stitch as you see here Zora creates an invisible join and there you have your band of your you got your bottom band of your yoga sock so what we're going to do is we're going to chain one now and we're going to skip this one and you see there's a stitch here so there's two stitches one there and one there so you're going to pull up a loop pull through two is a single crochet and if i zoom in here here's the next one and there will be two per every ridge here so you see there's one and there's two so you're going to single crochet in each one of these all the way around so you should have 40 single crochets by the end of this round and i will meet you at the end of this round okay i'm um, on my 40th stitch and as you see the single crochets will cause it to curve outwards just a little bit that's okay don't worry about that because when you wear these it'll flatten it out and so what we're going to do is you see here's the first stitch right there we are going to push our hook through both loops there like so and we are going to slip stitch this together like so and then we are going to start on our moss stitch row so we're going to chain one and then into that very first stitch the same one you slip stitch into you're going to make a single crochet and i'm going to take a stitch marker and place it in the first stitch to mark it where it is so then it'll be easier for you guys to see my first stitch is as well and then i'm going to chain one i'm going to skip a stitch and i'm going to go into so this is our skip stitch we're going to go into this stitch here with a single crochet we're going to chain one skip a stitch and go into our next stitch there with a single crochet and this stitch here is called the moss stitch and i'll be adding it to my playlist stitch dictionary where i'll be adding a collection of different stitches that i will be using in my patterns that i'll be posting on here as well as for you to use in other patterns that you may create in the future so we're going to skip one and then go into the next stitch and i will meet you guys at the end of this row of moss stitch so you're going to keep skipping one and single crocheting to the next and you should have these little gaps in your work as you go and those will be where we're where we will be single crocheting in our next round i'll see you guys at the end i've just made my last single crochet of this round as you see we will be ending on where we're supposed to be skipping a stitch so after that last single crochet of that round we're going to chain one we are going to skip the stitch and then we are going to slip stitch where our stitch marker is so if i take this out it'll be a little easier into that very first stitch we're going to place a slip stitch and as you see our last one will be a space so now to start round two we're going to chain one chain two this counts as our side chain and this counts as a chain and you'll see that the chain counts because if this is single crochet there the one on top has to be a chain where you skip so going into the next chain space so if you see here's a single crochet the body of the single crochet and then there's the space next to it we're going to single crochet into that space like that and as you i will put my stitch marker in to our first stitch which will be that chain one space so we're going to chain one skip our single crochet in the previous row and single crochet into that gap next and we're going to do this for the remainder of this round and i will meet you at the end i am on my last chain space of this round and it's the last one where we skipped over so i've already done my chain up of one we're going to go single crochet in that round and then to join these rounds we're going to single crochet into that chain space that we created with our chain two at the beginning like so and to start 
round three. We're going to chain up of one and we're going to single crochet in that chain space like that. We can move our stitch marker up like so. Like that. And then we're going to chain one, skip that single crochet and go into that next space. And this is called the moss stitch and we will be repeating rounds one and two until we get the length that we like from the top edge of our foot just below our toes to our just before our heels so for me that was around 13 rows i believe yep 13 rows so i will meet you so if you remember any odd rounds will begin with a single crochet and end with a chain space and any even rows will start with a chain space and end with a single crochet. And I will meet you guys at the end of round 13 to show you how we're going to create our heel. I'm on my last two stitches of round 13 now. And I ended on a single crochet and I started on a chain two for my round 13. And I think I forgot to clarify this, but your single crochet round also counts as a round. So you got one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 rounds total. So what you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into this chain space here, like so. You're going to chain up of one. And then this is where we make our divide for our heel portion of the yoga socks. So what we do is we chain one, or chain one and then we're going to single crochet in that chain two space like so i'll put my stitch marker in there for you guys like so and then we are going to moss stitch for 21 stitches so we end on a single crochet as well so you're going to chain up with one, go into the next chain space like you've been doing all the way. And these count, so I've got one, and then these chain spaces count as a stitch as well. So you got one, two, three, chain space, four, single crochet, five, chain space, six, single crochet, seven, all the way until you reach 21. And then I will tell you what you do from there. I'm on my 21st stitch and then what we are going to do from here is we are going to chain 19 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17, 18, and 19. And if you want, you can double count. It never hurts to double count. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, and then I'm just going to take out my stitch marker and we are going to place a slip stitch into that very first stitch like so. And that is our heel divide portion for our sock. And then what we are going to do is we're going to start on the next round where we're going to chain two because we started on a single crochet of the last round. We're going to skip over that single crochet and go into the next space. And we're going to moss stitch all the way until we reach our chain. And I'll show you what we do once we reach the chain. And I just realized I forgot to put my stitch marker back in. <laughs> there we go. And I will teach you guys what you do once you reach the chain. It's pretty simple from here on out.
Okay, I've I am on my last single crochet in our moss stitch, and now I'm on to the chain. So what we're gonna do is chain up of one, we skip the single crochet stitch, and then we go into the first chain stitch there. And we are going moss stitch in every single stitch in this crochet chain. So you're going to chain up of one, skip this chain, and go into the second chain. Just like we've been doing with the moss stitch in our actual stitches. So we're going to skip this one, go into this chain here. Like so. Chain up one, skip, go into the next. All the way until we get back to the start, and then I'll start you guys on the next round. And this does count as a round for when you're counting for how many you want for your ankle portion. Okay, I'm on my last chain right here. I'm going to single crochet into it. It might be a little tricky to work into the chain if you keep your middle finger and your thumb on the chain where your base of your stitches, it should help keep it a little more steady. And what you're going to do is slip stitch into that chain two space at the start, like so. And then from here, we're just going to continue moss stitching until you want the height of what you want your yoga sock to be. So you're going to start with a single crochet in this one and end on chain two. And then you're just going to continue moss stitching until you reach the height you want your ankle portion of your yoga sock to be. For me, that was around 15 rows, including this portion here where we split it off right here. So this would be row one and two of our ankle portion. And I will meet you back when we have reached the rows that we want. You can have it shorter or longer, just depends what you like for socks. And I will meet you back once we finish those rows. Okay, I'm on my last row of slip stitches. And we are going to end at the base. So I'll show you what I mean after I finish this row quickly. Two. Three. Four. And five. So how we're going to join these two together is we're going to slip stitch into that single crochet there and it's a little too loose there let me tighten that we're going to slip stitch into that single crochet space and then we're going to slip stitch into the chain space and then we're going to turn it and so how we're going to attach it is if you look here we got all these we got five of those ridges there from where our chain was at the beginning what we're going to do is we're going to go into that first one there and then into the front loop of this slip stitch. And we're going to slip stitch those together like so. We're going to go into the next one here, right here. We're going to go into the front loop of that slip stitch right there. All the way down. So there's one more there. And then into the back there. Pull it through like so. And then one more times there's one there one there slip stitch and then I'm going to put that bigger loop there so that it doesn't get shown like that and then if we pull it out you see it fits in with the ripping there and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors I like doing it just like a little bit after my fourth finger I find that helps control the length I need to weave in my ends and then we're going to do a chain one instead of doing another chain we're just going to pull it right through and pull it tight and now you can weave in your ends and that is your first yoga sock done and you can just restart this video to make your second yoga sock here and that is all there is all you do to make your other one is just restart this video and it's the same thing again and then you weave in your ends and you're done and my question for this project I've got to ask it earlier but it's, what is your favorite snack you like snacking on while you're crocheting? Mine, I think, is like popcorn or like goldfish crackers. I find those don't get my fingers that greasy while I'm working. I hope you have fun making this project and I hope you share me these pictures on my Insta channel. 
you can insta message me on my instagram channel transcending crochet i would love to see your work and please like subscribe and share and have a wonderful day